Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Super Tarts haul. Now, I don't tend to place a ton of orders with Super Tarts. The way that her pre-orders work is she goes through a rotating list alphabetically of her different set categories. So whenever it's time for the scents that you like, she opens the pre-orders for a weekend and it's typically four, six, maybe eight week turnaround time. Just all depends obviously on volume, etc. But she offered a Palo Santo week and she had other scents in there. I believe it was bakery, coffee, spiced, and Palo. So there was quite a bit. And I watched Nicole Perry rave about Super Tarts Palo Santo, and they offered a sampler. So what I did, because I also equally love everything Palo Santo, is I ordered one of each of the Palo blends in clams, and then I also ordered a Bam bag in plain old Palo Santo. So since we're here, since we're here, let's start with my plain Palo Santo. And the notes on here read, which I love that she added scent notes to her Bam bags. It's that little touch that makes all the difference. And this is Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. So this is the Bath and Body Works dupe because the Bath and Body Works scent has multiple things besides just Palo. And yeah, this is so good. This oil is so great. It's just the right amount of smoky, just the right amount of like soothing and fresh and creamy. If you have never tried Palo Santo, please try it. If you don't love it, that's fine, let me know. But when you melt Palo Santo in your home, it just instantly soothes, calms. I try to melt Palo Santo at least once a week in my house. It's almost like a reset. Like on a day off, it's so nice to just melt some Palo Santo in your house to give it a little bit of a reset. Starting out with the sample, we have It's Raining Mint. And this is Twisted Peppermint and Rain. Now, I have not tried her rain before from Super Tarts, but everybody raves about it, loves it. And I know Blackberry Rain, I believe, is the one that everyone loves. So I'm excited to try that. This is interesting. It's an interesting choice to go with Twisted Peppermint and Rain, just because I feel like rain is so fresh, outdoorsy, aquatic, wet. Blending it with like a peppermint and mint or peppermint and vanilla is interesting, but this is really nice. I'm excited to try this. This is going to go in my bedroom one night. It definitely has that peppermint, but just a tiny bit of water. It's really cool. I'm excited to try it. Let me know if you guys got this sample and if you melted it, what you guys think. It's definitely different. All right, diving into the clams. The first one that I have is fire, blue sugar, and palo santo. No idea what fire is. I don't know if it's like fire side or what, but we have fire, blue sugar, and palo santo. I'm not picking up a lot on the palo. Blue sugar for sure. I happen to love blue sugar in small doses though. Like I feel like in this big room, in this smaller room, I would only do one cube in this in like a tea light because if not, it would overpower like doing the whole cube. But yeah, it definitely gives me like the blue sugar vibes and a little smoky. I don't know if that's coming from the fire or the Palo Santo, but it's nice. It's definitely a soothing, warm blue sugar blend. If you like blue sugar, I think you'll really like that one. Next, we have Sage Blackberry Palo Santo. I love blackberry scents. I love this. This blackberry is, again, a super, super juicy blackberry. It's not perfumey. Sage, I can smell a tiny bit in the background. One thing with Super Tarts is when you melt it, the scents definitely come alive more. Hmm. And then Palo, hmm. Again, I'm not getting super strong Palo Santo in this one either. Blackberry is definitely first and foremost in the forefront in this one. It's a good one. I really enjoy that. I love Blackberry scents, though. Next, we have Lemon Curd Rosemary Palo Santo. This one was super intriguing to me. Wow, Rosemary. Whew. This is definitely Rosemary heavy. Holy, holy crap. That is very rosemary. So if you like that scent of rosemary, 
this is going to exclusively be a kitchen melt. I can already tell. Because rosemary, very green, herbal, a little peppery, which that's what I get from rosemary, just like a little peppery note. And as far as lemon curd goes, that's a little bit more sweet, tart lemon. I definitely pick up on lemon. I mean, that's definitely there. But again, Palo Santo, I feel like is definitely less in this one as well. And more in the background. So, we'll see. These are also pretty freshly poured, so this is just a, a cold sniff. Now we have Mac Apple Ocean Palo Santo. I love me some Mac Apple. Now see, I smell Palo in here, for sure. I actually smell all three. Initially, I don't know if it's because it's obviously bright red that I'm smelling like Mac Apple right away, but then the more that I smell it, I'm getting that like aquatic-y, watery ocean note very sea-like, and then Palo Santo's in here. It's very warm and smoky. And it's interesting that we have, like, a fresh, crisp apple, aquatic and, you know, very wet, tropical ocean, and then you have warm Palo Santo. Very interesting blend. Very interesting. Excited to melt that one. Next, and I'm just, like, breaking off these little tabs as I'm going because they drive me crazy. This one is Blood Orange Goji Berry Palo Santo. I find that with citrus scents, I just don't ever gravitate towards melting them or ordering them. I don't know why. They're just not anything that, like, hits my nose. I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to try that. And, yeah, that's how I feel with this. It's like Goji Berry is a very sour, like, fruit, and Blood Orange is, like, the tartest orange. So this is a very, very tart, citrusy. No, mixed with Palo Santo, again, not getting much of Palo. The more I sniff it, I get a little bit of it, but it's nothing crazy. It's This is good. It's just very, very citrusy. I find that I think I'm going to be melting citrus scents like in the mornings, mainly, because I feel like that's like such a zippy, wake you up scent. Next, we have Cotton Candy Soft Laundry Palo Santo. Super interesting. This is different. Okay, it's not super sharp laundry. And maybe because it's called soft laundry, I'm not sure what laundry note is in here. But it is definitely softer, a little bit like creamy laundry. Cotton candy, most of the time comes off as like sickeningly sweet because it's cotton candy. But yeah, and then mixed with Palo Santo, it's interesting. I pick up on Palo in this one for sure. It's like a smoky laundry, which is very interesting. Okay, so for this one, sticky sweet from cotton candy makes you want to wash your hands, laundry, and then smoky from a fire, Palo Santo, laundry. So it's kind of like two things that you want laundry to clean away mixed with a scent together. I know that's like kind of weird, but that's like what I get from this. Interesting. Next, probably the one that I was most intrigued by, Cactus Sea Salt Buttercream Palo Santo. And it's mainly because of the buttercream. Like, Cactus and Sea Salt Palo sounds so good. That's very interesting. Buttercream. Very interesting that there's buttercream in here, because I pick it up for sure. It's like... The buttercream is obviously super, super sweet, frosting-like scent. But meanwhile, cactus and sea salt is so bright and, like, crisp, a little bit sweet. Hmm. And mixed with the soothing palo, it's very, very, very different. Interesting. I don't hate it. I, I'm, I'll be very curious to see if the buttercream and the palo come through more on warm. Next, we have strawberry sauce, raspberry palo santo. Love fruity scents. Love strawberry. Oh yeah, this is good. You definitely get strawberry and raspberry almost equally. Strawberry, a little bit more sweet, sometimes artificial. Raspberry, a bit more tart, zingy, mixed with palo. Very cool, very smoked. Almost like you smoked these fruits, which I know you don't really smoke fruit <laughs> like over a fire or something, but that's sort of the vibe that I'm getting from here. Very different, very like upscale fruity. Ooh, I really like that one. That one's really good. And 
I also think it's nice having the band bag of Palo Santo. I will be able to blend a little bit more Palo if I want to, if I feel like I'm not getting enough. And then last but not least is Birch Pink Sugar Palo Santo. I definitely pick up on pink sugar and white birch. White birch, to me, I think I like it more than I do. Every time it's in a blend, I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. I love white birch in here, the one from Bath & Body Works. But, like, I can only melt it certain times. I feel like white birch is definitely more a holiday fragrance because it's like a crisp, cool white wood. And then mixed with the sweetness of the pink sugar makes it a little bit more perfumey. And then the sweetness, or the smokiness from Palo Santo. Wow, that's really different. Hmm. This was definitely an interesting order. Some of them I like. Some of them I definitely need to let sit. And it'll be very curious to see how they do on warm. But it wasn't a super long video. I just ordered those little bits. Let me know if you guys ordered from the Super Hearts Palo Santo order, pre-order, or any of the other scents offered. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far. Happy Monday. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I... Ooh, I lost my voice. Every time I upload here on YouTube... <clears throat> Make it a better world. Be kind. I love you all so much, and you matter. Bye, guys.